Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a good today. I'm doing pretty okay. Today I wanted to talk to you about something pretty interesting and that is dating girls. At least in my experience, that's pretty interesting because if you know me now, you'd know I am very gay. <laughs> but there was a time in my life when I dated girls and I kind of wanted to talk to you about that today. Before I get into it, I just wanted to let you know that sexuality is completely fluid. Your sexuality can change as you grow and it's part of a spectrum so it is possible to go from being attracted to one kind of person and then being attracted to another kind of person I dated this girl for I think a total of three years it was a long-distance relationship if you know me in real life you know this story but I like genuinely really cared about her and the attraction was there it wasn't like I was faking being attracted to her. She meant a lot to me and honestly she still holds a special place in my heart because you know all that first love bull crap. But I mean I was with her for three years. At this point I thought I was like straight and then I went to like oh I'm pansexual but like in reality I'm just very gay. But again I didn't know that at the time. I didn't realize that. As I got older and got more comfortable with my gender identity my attraction and sexuality started to change. This is a lot but I went from bi to being a lesbian and then I came out as trans so I was a straight man and then I was like oh I'm bi again and then I discovered what pan was so I was like oh I'm pan and now I'm just very very gay and I want to let you know that it is totally okay to switch labels to find one that fits for you and if one fits one day and another one doesn't fit another day that's totally okay I feel like originally the reason I didn't realize I was so very queer at the beginning of everything was that I felt the need to conform and be normal after I came out as trans. It's like, oh, men are supposed to be straight and that kind of skewed logic. So I was like, oh, in order to be seen valid as a man now that I'm come out as trans and everything, I need to be straight and like women in order to be seen as a man. Even though that's how some people's minds might work, that's like not the case. As I got more comfortable with my gender identity and my fluidity and all of that good stuff, I got more comfortable with my sexuality and my attraction to people. Everything eventually did fall into place and now I am very happy right now where I am as a gay non-binary trans man, but that might change tomorrow. Who knows? I might feel more comfortable identifying as something else tomorrow, but that's totally okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a, a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What is your sexuality? You can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. The links are down in the description below, and you can follow me on all those platforms. You should totally subscribe because I post two videos a week here on this channel. One being LGBTQ related called my trans trans education videos and another just kind of whatever I'm feeling. If you click the bubbles on the screen, it'll take you to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel and the video box will take you to my last video. I love you guys a lot. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.